Hey, I'm Brett with Premier Guitar. We're hanging in Santa Rosa, California at EMG. We're about to take an inside look and see where it all happens. So now we're inside the mold shop. That's what they call this, right? Yes. Uh, I'm with Jeff Miller at EMG. Jeff, what do you do in here? Well, what we do in here... Besides swear. Yeah. This is, <laughs> this is where we build the molds that we make our parts with. And all the molds are done in this room. Everything from design, except for the design of the part, it's drawn up, made, constructed. I use all these different machines. Everything's done in-house. So there's a, a big drill press right behind us. Yeah, What's going a, on over here? That's a milling machine over here. This is what actually I use. It mills out the pockets. Mm -hmm. It's just your typical milling machine. Your precision work is done on this. This is the grinder. It's a surface grinder. That's where I hold down to 10 thousandths of an inch. Mm -hmm. And then for pockets and my cavities and stuff, I actually use this machine over here, which is an EDM machine. And this machine right here uses electricity. It's called an electrical discharge machine. It uses electricity and from the electrodes that you make. And I actually burn the metal into the shape I want. Oh, like, for example, cool. This is an electrode right here that makes this shape in metal. And I burn this in. And, and when you say you burn it in, what do you mean? I burn it in, it uses amperage, electricity, and then I control the electricity, how much I'm giving it. And I can get finishes, whatever finish I want to get, depths and time, how long it takes me to get in there. You can rough it, finish it, and I make all different kinds of electrodes for it. Any uh, other cool stuff for us to see over here? or? What's happening on these? Well, racks? this is just this is our stock rack. It's where we keep all the metal. We got the saws right over here. I got my oven. This is where I do. We do all our own heat treating and everything in here. So when you say heat treating in your own oven, I mean that means what are you heating? I actually I got a piece of metal and I'm making a cavity, and the metal's soft until I heat treat it and it makes it hard. I mean you could go for example like glass hard, to where it's brittle and then you draw it back and it's strong. That it makes the metal tough. You can't even cut it with a file. So. And that's basically what we do in here is we build the molds, which then across in this other room over here, which we'll go next, we'll show you what the molds do. Okay, cool. Let's go. So I don't know what this is, but it's definitely impressive. This is an injection molding machine. This is where we actually, what it does, we have plastic in the form of this right here, a pellets plastics. And this is brought into this machine. It comes into here. It's heated and melted and put into pressure and squirted into the mold. It literally squirts it in like a liquid. And this is the part that comes out of this mold right here. And what part you, is you'll this? You'll see in? it right there. This is going to open, kicks the part out, closes back up. And that's what we're making in the other room is the molds that do that. And what is this? This is actually, this is the H bobbin, which goes inside our H cap pickups. Oh, that's very cool. Like the 81s and the 80s. This mm -hmm. is where they wind the coils up on this right here. Sure. Um, I'm seeing a lot of crazy uh, coordinates and things happening here. I mean, it's reminding me of a CNC machine on some level. In a, in a lot of ways, that's what this is. You can you program this in here, and you can set all your parameters, your tonnage, you know, how much plastic you want to put in, how fast you want to put the plastic in. Tonnage, tonnage, what do you mean tonnage? Tonnage, the tonnage is the pressure that is applied to this mold when it's closed. Okay. This is a 50 ton machine. And we, and we actually, we only have, I think, about 22 tons closing it because you don't need the whole 50 tons. Now, when you talk about pounds of pressure, like condensing and, you know, busting this sucker out, the more pressure you put, uh, the more dense the material becomes? No, what it does is then you can inject the plastic inside at higher pressures and you can fill because the pressures that are actually in those cavities when it squirts the plastic in is like 20, 30 pounds per square inch. Sure. 20, 30,000 pounds per square inch. So needless to say, that's some heavy that's shit. Some, yeah, <laughs> and you need to have the tonnage to squish it together to keep it in place. And then we want to run six, seven second cycle time, so we get a part out. We get two parts every seven seconds. And that's what we try to do for all these. Impressive, and the machines over here more of the same, or what do we got? They're more of the same, but they're smaller machines. Okay. Well, dude, right on. I mean, this is cool stuff. So uh, we're going to bounce out and uh, check out the rest of the uh, rest of the factory.
and enjoy. Enjoy the tour. Right on, Jeff. I'm here with Ed, and Ed, I understand you are the god of the factory here. Oh, I don't know about the god. I'm just a manufacturing manager. Well, uh, not just. I mean, you guys have quite an operation going here, and I'm excited to take a peek. Yeah, so am I. I'm excited you guys to be here. It's really nice to show off this facility. Yeah, so. Well, let's go, uh, let's go take a look at your world. Well, this is the SMT room. In the SMT, we're going to take a blank board, and we're going to put some solder paste on that blank board so that we can mount some components on there. And SMT, just for the record, because, you know, you guys are flinging all these, like, super cool terms, but uh, SMT is that surface, what surface is it? Surface mount technology. That's surface exactly mount what technology. it is. And yeah. that refers to, you know, your boards, your pickups, in what sense? Correct. Uh, these are the for the active pickups. So our 81s, 85s, all the stuff that has to have a battery to turn it on. Okay. That's what comes out of here. All right, cool. Show me. Well, we've got this machine here that's about, uh, it's got two heads on it. And each head has 12 nozzles. So while one head's picking up parts, the other one's dumping them on the board. Yeah, so this is, this is pretty serious stuff yeah, here. Very serious. This is dynamite here. Uh -huh. the, originally, when I first came here seven years ago, we only had this older machine with two heads with two nozzles on each head. So mm -hmm. this baby here is like more than 10 times faster than her. Very cool. Hey, Chris, I don't know if you can see this, but come around on this side, and you can see these, these little heads uh, doing their robotic work. The next board will automatically feed into there, so it'll keep running. These boys will inspect it, make sure no parts are tombstoned or that they're not off center or anything. T tombstone okay. meaning? Tombstone meaning that they stand up on the side. Mm -hmm. So they're all laying flat like they're supposed to be and in the right positions. And then they're gonna run it through this reflow chamber. This guy has four zones, uh, one zone on top, one zone on bottom, so there's like eight heaters in here. Mm -hmm. And it just gets heated up until all the solder reflows and comes out the back. And when you say zones, what do you mean? Like just separate each compartments? Zone, so each, each, there's four different zones where I have heaters shooting down and the heater shooting up. So it raises the temperature of the board very rapidly to where the solder will reflow. And just like and magic, melt. just like magic, magic, they come out on this end. Come out of the back, little fans to cool it off, and they're ready for my guys to uh, use them out there to build pickups. Oh, that's cool. That's cool stuff. And um, kind of like a lot of the machines we're looking at earlier today, you punch in all your coordinates and things over here on the screen. Yeah, we pre-program it so that the boys know what whatever they're running, they'll know which program to pop in there. Okay. And the machine's set, ready to go. You've got a couple finished boards over here. Can we take well, we a look at We have a lot of finished boards up on the rack here. Yeah. So when they're done, they're inspected. They're going to come over here. And assembly will come out and grab the styles that they need. We mark the boards HB, so the 81s will have 81 on there. Also, the 85s will have 85 on there. Production will take what they need and put the rest back. Okay, cool. Well, hey, what's next?